psychological field um, for a whole conference. But what I'll say here is that the premises held within the psychological field greatly contradict those of the spirit release practitioner. It appears to me that it's all about maintaining the status quo and the safety of diagnostic criterion and medication as opposed to looking for pioneering ways to assist those that are suffering. I draw awareness here to the problems with dissociative identity disorder, uh, formerly known as multiple personality disorder, and the closed door to accepting that this is anything other than a mental illness. Um, I was at an event in London recently where I had a face-to-face -face conversation with, I won't mention the name, but someone very, very highly regarded in the field of uh, DID. And we had a bit of an exchange. And her premise was, it's all about integration of the dissociated part. But my problem is, if it's not even part of you in the first place, then isn't that quite horrific? That, <laughs> you know, no wonder people are in psychoanalytic psychotherapy for 13, 15, 18 years, but whose pockets are being filled by that. I just find it absolutely horrific to think that we, we can't get access to that world. It's like it's barred. Um, so I'm quite unhappy about that. Um, so at the societal level, we all know that there's a strong interest in the supernatural. And what I would suggest is that by containing exorcism in its stereotypical, demonic, traditional, Hollywood format, it keeps the darkness at arm's length and goes some way to placating the shadow. So we do have an investment in the dark, you know, uh, Rachel's uh, chapter, you know, talks about that a lot. But you know, as, as a person who embraces a union and a kind of classical psychoanalytic approach, um, yeah, that subliminal level of integra integration of self with the dark, uh, you know, is is really interesting. So yeah, we keep it at arm's length uh, to entertain our dark aspects, but perhaps society is not yet ready to accept that your deceased mother can possess you at her own funeral. And I've had various cases of that kind of nature, or that your murdered brother is not ready to give up his addiction, so uses you to service his needs, and that is an actual case that, that I had. Um, perhaps this is all a little bit too real, too creepy for comfort. <laughs> Final slide, uh, where to next? Um, that's really difficult for me to put into a nutshell because there's so many directions that, that can be taken. Um, I am thinking about it because I think what we need is, is you know, to integrate the, the new form of sciences into this field, you know, to be talking about non-locality, to be talking about uh, quantum, to be talking about entanglement, to uh, embrace the, the wider field of, of consciousness um, to add to and integrate with those scientific realms. Um, also, you know, the, the sociologist, the anthropologist, um, see how we could make head nor tail of this, you know, but in a, in a very scientific and grounded way. Um, so collaboration between fields would, would be good, um, creating some kind of discourse um, around the, this kind of thing, um, which kind of landed on my doorstep, you know, 
So I'm not sure what I would ask for <laughs> other than, you know, can we talk? Can we see what this phenomenon actually represents through various lenses of, of perception? Okay, that's the end.